Okay, guys, let's uh, try to figure out the oxidation numbers of, well, effectively the chlorines in these two compounds. Uh, the top one's perchloric acid, and the bottom one is hypochlorous acid. So, um, what do we know already uh, about the top one, of course, or both of them? That it's going to be neutral, so the whole thing's going to be equal to zero. These oxygens, oxidation state, are negative two. And how many do we have? Four, Four of them. Cl is what we're looking for. X. So it's going to be an X, and there's only one of them. And then H, you guys remember what that is? Plus one. Plus one. Plus one. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure this out. So we got one plus X minus eight equals zero. So X minus seven equals zero. So the oxidation number of chlorine in this case is plus seven. Okay, do you see that? Okay, so let's do this one now. So the whole thing is zero, right? Oxygen is minus two. There's one of them plus X. There's one of them plus a plus one. Is everybody okay with what I've done there? So we got one plus x minus two equals zero. So x um, minus one equals zero. So x equals plus one. So chlorine, in this case, oxidation number is plus one. Okay? So chlorine can have weird oxidation numbers. Okay? So just like a lot of those especially the bigger um, non-metals, okay? Like phosphorus, sulfur, bromine. We'll see some of those later when we um, talk about expanded valence, okay? Like, so, like just one other question is on the worksheet, the that like sulfur So uh, let's talk about this problem here. So are there any more questions on this particular problem? So we can do that problem in a second. Any, does everybody understand this one? Yeah, okay.